I do most of my filming back here and on the sides of my house. I have to move around play equipment from time to time when I do lawn applications. I even film over here. It looks pretty nice most places, but I rarely go to this side of the fence. And here's why. Look at this. This is terrible. Guys, it's Brian Mounts. If you're watching this, chances are enormously large that you have watched multiple videos of mine in the past. and Maybe you've watched them for a long time. Uh, if you're new to me, uh, I'll put a couple links to some important videos down in the description below. But this is not the point to this video. This is truly for those of you who actually watch me regularly. I want you guys to understand that I've been making videos for two, almost two and a half years. Hopefully this wind isn't like detrimental to your viewing experience. I got my mic on right here. Ah, there it is right there. I want you to know that I am going to be moving a movie. I have dropped hints, uh, some somewhat overt, obvious hints in previous videos over the past couple months or so. Uh, I'm moving. This is the last month, the last 30 days that I'm going to be living on this property, on this lawn. This is my lawn for about 30 more days. That's it. I've got a handful of projects that I am sad to be leaving behind. Uh, I've been seeding my, my hill yard since late spring, the first of summer. I got two project lawns I've been working on all year. One of them I started working on last year. It's a slow project. Uh, slow projects don't get done quickly. So I feel like I'm leaving that project midway through. The other project lawn, Phil's lawn, um, is the faster repair lawn. I, there's still lots of stuff I'd like to do over there. But I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm leaving, I'm leaving state. This is a bittersweet video. Over the next 30 days or so, uh, I'm probably not going to be very active on YouTube. I'm not going to be publishing very many videos. I'm not going to be very active in the comments because I'm packing up my house. I'm really excited for what's to come, but I'm not there yet. So it's hard to really get into it. It's hard to really have a lot of plans and be excited because I'm not there yet. Approximately five years ago, when we moved into this house, everything kind of looked like this. This is kind of a landscaped um, gravel. There's a cat, he's always here. Kind of like a landscape gravel. There was no like this bush and there was a little plant over there. There's basically nothing here. It was this nice little river rock kind of pretend stream. And all of this green wasn't here. It just, it looked nice. And when we moved in, we didn't do anything at all. We kind of thought maybe we would redo the retaining wall at some point, but we never did. Um, we just kind of let it be. We focused on the yard back here because the yard back here looked terrible at the time. The problem is the landscaping that went in here. This is not exactly the right kind of gravel uh, or... Uh, ground, I don't know, ground cover, whatever it is. They didn't really prepare everything here very well. It looked great at first, but it's not thick enough and things have started growing up through it. Not to mention the fact that we've got suckers from these trees, these three trees that are coming up. See, I've already cut a few of them out of the ground, but every now and then I have to come over here and cut these things because they're just really annoying. And this is one of the main reasons why I've never really done anything over here, because these things are terrible and I can't get them out of the ground without really doing serious tree root pruning over here. And it's just hard. I'm just a guy. Uh, I have wanted to pull up a lot of this gravel here and install some grass, some shade tolerant, most likely a fine fescue uh, majority grass blend over here. But I got to remove all of this stuff. I got to dig things out. I got to deal with rocks. So if you have a lawn, which I'm sure you probably do, 
you probably have an area where it's just it just seems daunting to the point where you're overlooking it you're ignoring it constantly over and over and over been ignoring this for a long time and i want this video to come off as justification as validation for your ignoring the problem it's okay this is just a lawn it's just a yard i wouldn't even call this a lawn this is just yard space that's uh got potential over the past few days i've been busy working on preparing our house to sell it so uh in the unlikely event that any of my turf mechanic viewers want to buy a house uh maybe i'll put the zillow listing on uh in the description but don't uh don't hold me to that because it's only going to sell it's only going to be for sale for probably a few weeks before it goes but in the meantime, I've been working on preparing this house for sale. I've been doing some projects that I have never really emphasized here on this channel. I always talk about how my yard is for my family and for the use of our family. My kids play in the backyard. I spend time in the backyard. Uh, my realtor recently has told me if we're gonna sell the house, I need to have some curb appeal. So the front yard was some, uh, that's something that I haven't really emphasized at all like zero percent on this channel i've started working on the front yard i've actually excavated the front yard over the past four days uh, and seeded and landscaped about 500 square feet and we're talking i mean this is from a youtube lawn care guy i haven't even filmed any of it I'm like it's literally just for the sale of the property um, working on the front of the property to make it attractive to home buyers as they drive up and they think, wow, the whole house looks great and the backyard looks great, but the front doesn't. So I'm making the front look good. So I'll let you see what I've been up to. Although I've wanted to do serious renovation here, it's just too daunting of a task. And I just keep putting it off over and over and over. Here's my advice for you if you have a situation like this. Don't do what I did. Don't ignore it. But it's okay to not do a full lawn renovation. What I'm going to do here today is make this look good. Even though I'm not going to do a renovation and make it look like the rest of my yard, I'm just tired of it looking terrible. And it's okay. We can delay so long as we're doing this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to clip all those little suckers down at the bottom. And then, uh, I mean, they'll grow back eventually, so I'll have to do that from time to time. And I'm going to take my mower over this, and I'm going to clip the tops and bag it, because the like probably 95, 99% of the grass growing over here is undesirable. Uh, most of it has not yet gone to seed, uh, but I'm still going to bag it, and I'm going to use it to make a liquid fertilizer. Here we are in the side yard, which you all are familiar with. This is a common perspective but as we move around it becomes less common and then all the way to the front this is rarely featured in videos although I have featured it in a number of videos I've excavated all of this out you see this this paver line used to go like that up until about three and a half days ago I have moved it around that way pulled up all of uh, dug everything out and I've seeded all of this. Really, in the next four days, I expect fescue, fine fescue. We're talking 100% fine fescue is going to be coming up here. And then over here in this triangle is going to be a mix of fine fescue and turf type tall fescue. Because as you see, there's some sun over there throughout the day. Here, it's shaded almost the entire day. I'm in the process of weeding and mulching this front strip right there. <laughs> as I've told my wife, uh, as I've told my wife and some friends, uh, the front of the house is important for the sale of our property. So I'm kind of doing it without filming the whole thing. Filming lawn care is far more time consuming and hard than just doing it. If you're going to take anything from this video, I want this to be the lesson. Doing lawn care of any kind, even doing renovations and projects, is easy. So long as you're not filming it and making videos. Like, I'm dead serious here. Doing this is easy. And then in the future, maybe I'll end up 
finding the time to go ahead and do the full lawn renovation that I'd like to. And I'm going to dig down in some spots and see how deep all of this uh, kind of gravelly material is. If it's somewhat shallow, I might rough it up and try to just overseed it, just to kind of fill it in because it's just not something that I'm going to be able to take on for a long time to come. I dug the whole thing up, prepared the whole area, seeded it, and I'm mulching it. And granted, I'm not exactly done mulching it right there. But that's because I've actually got some glyphosate working over there on some of the weeds or some of the some of the grasses that I don't want to come back. So I don't want to mulch it over quite yet. I want to give it a day or two before I mulch it down. Doing this stuff is so much easier than you believe. We're talking for the past three years, I've wanted to renovate my front yard, the kind of the curb appeal version of the front of the house. But I haven't because me and the kids and my wife, we don't spend any time out front. Nobody drives by. The front of the house doesn't matter in terms of curb appeal, at least until you try to sell the house. I haven't actually attempted to do anything to the front of the house because I figured that it would take a lot of time. But the thing is, it doesn't. It doesn't take that much time. I've done the whole thing in just, I don't know, a few hours per day over the past three to four days, something like that. And right now I'm just kind of entering a mode of watering it. Like I just grab my hose back there and I just keep the peat moss wet and all of the grass is going to come in just fine. If you've got any projects that you think, ah, I don't want to do it right now. I want to do it later. I'm going to consider doing it in the future uh, because I think they're going to be too hard. Most lawn projects just aren't that hard. This is the one that I've been putting off for a couple years. I literally have told my 11 year old son, I'm sorry that I didn't do this three years ago. Uh, because it was such an easy job. Now I know the grass isn't in, but I've done this long enough to know that the grass will be in in about four or five, six days. It's fine. You trust the process. Once you've got some experience, you understand that it will happen. Now that I've done the work, even though the grass isn't there, I know 100% that it will be there in about six days, in about 14 days it's going to be we're going to be walking on it and playing on it and we're going to forget the fact that it was never done in the past just look at your project that you're putting off and say you know what let's just get it done this is september 2nd 3rd 1st i don't know somewhere in that it's the first week of september you've got the whole rest of fall fall hasn't even dropped it's like two two and a half weeks away you can get this done. For those of you still watching, right here in this lower section, I don't want to call it lower, this section that's closer to me, this is shaded like 90% of the day. I put only fine fescue here and then I blended hard fescue into this area because I do have a good patch of hard fescue right there. So I kind of want this whole patch to be a little bit more hard fescue and then 100% fine throughout this whole area. Now over here, depending on the time of day, we do get some sun. So I've got a lot of hard fescue in there mixed with turf type, turf type tall fescue. All of this is gonna be drought and shade tolerant. I have no irrigation up here. So at some point, someone else is gonna buy this house and they are going to enjoy this front yard and they're not going to have to water it hardly at all. In the very, very front, I'm going to put some planters. I'm going to put some planters, like some like like perennial plants, just kind of in the ground or in pots on a mulched bed. And then we'll have a nice little uh, decorative bridge over the rocks here. But literally, we're talking. It's only been a few hours of work for the past three and a half days. Worth it. All right, most people that watch videos like updates. So seven days later, here we are. Overseeding your lawn is probably the easiest project to take on for the beginner, especially in the month of September. Watch this video right up here. It'll tell you everything you need to know to get the job done right. 
on the first try.